Picture a vibrant, whimsical world where a couple embarks on a magical journey along a rainbow-colored path. They pass fanciful houses and dreamlike landscapes of swirling trees and clouds beneath a sky alive with stars, sun, and moon. Cosmos swirls and shooting stars add dynamism and a sense of possibility to this enchanted scene. Welcome to the fifth episode of the Echoes 500 podcast for the 2024 edition of NADPOD POMO. I'm Shadows Pub, and today I'll explore the theme Whimsical. It was my 61st Echo that I published on August 14th, 2023. The image I just described was my creative response to this prompt, and it represents everything that I've come to understand about the, the power of whimsy in our lives. Life is far too serious. We get so focused on what we have to do, we forget there's more to life, like whimsy. When we take time to be whimsical, we let playfulness, charm, and the unpredictable come out to play. Whimsical is something that's playful, quaint, fanciful, or lighthearted in an appealing or amusing way. It can also be unpredictable notions or ideas. Looking back at the image I created, the landscape is filled with winding paths, surreal architecture, and cosmic imagery like the sun and the stars. It creates a world of boundless imagination where your mind can engage in childlike play, similar to the adventure you can imagine the couple on the horse are taking through the dreamlike countryside. Their journey can take them anywhere, in any direction, a departure from our often adult nature of expectations, where we're always seeking the straightest line to our destination. Jumping into the image breaks free of conventional thinking and lets you leap into something, into spontaneous choices. The spirit of whimsy has played an important role in many areas of life for centuries. In the 18th century, the Rococo art period featured light, playful, and ornate elements projecting a sense of fantasy and delight. In the early 20th century, artists like Salvador Dali brought whimsy out to play in his surreal works. Whimsical characters and settings are popular in children's literature as they appeal to a child's imagination. Think of stories like Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Peter Pan. When we take on a whimsical mood, it's like giving ourselves permission to momentarily return to the play and imagination of childhood, where the world is ours to create, unburdened by what isn't real. After exploring the image and what the symbolism within it represented, I created this quote. When whimsical comes out to play, life fills up with playful surprises, unpredictable twists, mischievous delights, charming discovery, and imagination that lightens the soul and fills the heart. Life can be filled with struggle that feels soul crushing. I can almost hear some thinking, yeah, that's nice, but life's bloody hard and there's no time for flights of fancy. Life is hard. We often make it harder through our own expectations and need for control. The nose to the grindstone often just results in a bloody nose. In Buddhist teachings, holding on to expectations and control is clinging. Letting them go even temporarily is to release the attachment to seriousness, outcomes, and even suffering to create space where curiosity can lead to fresh perspectives. Even the most reserved among us can cultivate whimsy doesn't need to be a public display. I've found that letting my mind wander into flights of fancy when meditating lets my whimsy come out to play. I've often found myself with unexpected ideas and on paths I'd not expected to discover. Having started this practice in the privacy and constraint of my meditation time, I find when I need to problem solve, my willingness to shift perspective and consider other angles slips into place more often. This shift in mindset has added the added benefit that life's problems become something to observe, explore from multiple angles, and try different approaches towards solutions. There's something about having more than one approach that lightens the load. It means if plan A doesn't work, try plan B, and so on. That is infinitely lighter to carry than slamming away at the same failure over and over again. The lightness of whimsy softens our rigidity and opens pathways to acceptance and compassion while building resilience through 
through reshaping our relationship to struggle. It encourages a mindset that pushes back on rigid beliefs and opens the thought processes up to discovering new insights and deeper understanding. Yes, life is a challenge. Sometimes it's a bloody hard challenge. Life is also a constant opportunity to learn and move forward. It's hard to learn much from unmet expectations and rigid thinking. When we introduce time for the whimsical, we open doors to new ways to learn, new ideas, new opportunities. Will they always work? Nope. But you'll learn the resilience to, le to learn what you can, can from what doesn't work and move on to the next idea. Even though life can be hard, we can still make life fun again. Have you let whimsy out to play lately? Make a date with it. You might just enjoy it and discover a new idea or two. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Echoes 500 podcast, a collection of reflections on some of my daily echoes where I use AI to explore life, one word at a time. When I'm online, I hang out in my drop-in office. Feel free to drop in at gobrunch.com forward slash shadowspub.